Hey there, collectives, and welcome back for another general love reading. This reading is going to be for the general, all zodiac signs, male, female, it doesn't matter. I'm tapping into the universal collective. Uh, it doesn't matter what situation. Hopefully this video will resonate with you. Uh, please don't try to force it here. You know, you know what's for you. Uh, you know, I, I guess if there's a person that shows up in this reading, uh, it could be vice versa. You could interchange the, uh, the, the energies here because it's not always precise. I could be saying you and it could be someone else and I could be saying them and it could be you. Only you know where you fit in in this reading, if at all. Uh, please listen to your intuition because that's better than anything else. I feel like tarot should be to confirm or to, uh, you know, uh, bring you some clarity, if anything else, because we all are responsible for our own spiritual journey here. Now, I don't know what's going on with the collective, but it's about right because I feel like it is here. And usually I don't do the reversals, but since it's going to talk about it, it's going to make it easier. And I'm going to clarify. I'm only going to pull seven cards here, but... This is the nine of cups in the reverse here, collective. So it says deep dissatisfaction in your life, materialism, regret, excess, nightmares, unfulfilled wishes here. So some of you guys are overindulgent, you know, or the world is overindulgent. The collective is overindulgent for somebody. Uh, some Somebody may not be getting their wishes fulfilled. There may be some sadness and some regret here about money. You, you know, you know how it is when things are not coming together like you wanted to. You're, you're not happy because we know in the upright, this nine of cups is very, very beautiful, high vibrational energy. Uh, this is self-contentment. This is fulfillment here, emotional fulfillment. Nine, nine is a lot of cups to be filled on when you, when you go to 10. So in this nine of cups in reverse energy, it's like, the, the, you know, it seems like the collective is, is, is you know, <laughs> they're, they're doing pretty bad right now. But I feel like things can turn around, even though the star card is in reverse. Because this is the next card. It says a lack of inspiration and positivity, despair, illness, negativity, hopelessness, and boredom here. Oof. So now I see the three of pentacles here. So let's talk about these two cards here because th these go like hand in hand. Both of them are about, about your wishes and your contentment here. The nine of cups is, is wishes fulfilled or emotional fulfillment. The star card is hope, is healing, uh, is wishes being fulfilled here. So it's like, you know, there's hopelessness here, you know, and, and I can feel that because when, when you really check out the energy of the collective on a spiritual perspective, you can really see that. Uh, the energy is crying out. It, it reminds me so much of uh, um, um, Cain and Abel when the Most High was asking Cain, now look, yeah, I'm not a Christian, but look, I take, I chew the meat and I spit out the bones and I'm using this story uh, to, to set an example here. And it's like the Most High was asking Cain, you know, where your brother at? And you, you know how, how your pride and your guilt to just tell off on yourself. And he's like, God dang, am I my brother's keeper? Shit, I can't do him and do me too. I got my own life to live, God. I'm just saying, I can't be watching out for him too. He said, oh my gosh, Cain, what have you done? Because your brother, Abel Bloods, cries out from the grave. So please believe there is death energy crying out from the grave. It is. Because there, there, there has not been justice uh, for a lot of situations here. Uh, you know, a lot of things that, that are hidden, that are held back intentionally, that is affecting the world globally here, you know, uh, and, and it's having an effect on you here. It's having an effect on you here, but I'm hoping that this is going to turn around. So look, this is the overall energy, y'all, that nine of cups and the star card in the reverse here for the collective here. All right, spirit, show me the collective messages for the collective. Queen of cups here. Somebody see something gonna turn around. It says an emotionally supportive figure, emotional strength, intuition, empathy, uh, psychic creativity. So it's almost like this universe is gonna send you someone here. You know, you know, like when you always feel like hope, all hope is gone. Then there goes that 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 uh, ram in the bush, so to speak, or that ace up the sleeve at a poker game or something here. So it's like, just when you think all was lost, the universe is going to restore something here. Because this Queen of Cups is nothing but love here. She, she's very, very intuitive. She brings, see, she represents everything of this Nine of Cups and the Star card in the upright. 
Because in the Nine of Cups here, she's very, very emotionally giving. She's very, very nurturing. She's very, very supportive here. And in the Star card from this Queen of Cups, she's a healer. She, she's very, very empathetic here. You know, she has emotional power, emotional strength. Her cup runs big. So whoever this energy that the universe is sending your way, it's going to make up for all of the cups you may have thought that you lost out on in life. All of the opportunities that, that may have left you feeling disappointed and make, made you feel hopeless. All of your wishes you think that are just uh, hopeless and you think that you're not going to get it. Just when you think you're not going to get it, Spirit say, here it is. So it's almost like Spirit is encouraging you to still hold on to your hope because all is not lost. All is not lost here, especially if you're waiting on something. So Spirit is also encouraging you especially with the star card in the reverse. All hope is not lost here. It's your vision. You got to constantly see ahead of where you're at. So this is what spirit is telling you. Look from the hills from whence forth your help come. Here come your help. You got some love help coming your way. So spirit don't want you to focus on where you're at right now because that's just going to bring you down. Spirit wants you to focus on where you desire to see yourself be. And in the meantime, get ready to close your and turn your back on things that no longer serve you here because it's only going to bring you down here. All right, Spirit, message for the collective. What's going on with the collective, Spirit? Sure. Some of you guys are balancing your money. Some of you guys are struggling with your finances right now. You know, you're trying to keep it together here. You're trying to keep it together here. What's up with the collective, Spirit? Two of Cups here. So some of y'all, but see... I feel like the universe is finna, especially if this was dealing with love, spirit's finna bring you the right one for you. You may have just ended relationships and you feel like, look, the moon card in the reverse. It says the light will come. Truth, end of depression. Clarity, illumination, releasing fear. See, this is what you got coming. You see that? It says end of depression here because I feel, I, I sense a very depression depressive energy y'all check it out y'all know how it is around this time of the holidays when people are struggling to keep up to pay the bills and then they got to keep up with christmas too i mean god dang some people can't even afford it let alone live too and then let, let's not even talk about um the the thing the inflation so you know spirit is letting you know all hope is not lost here i just need you to continue to look move forward uh, keep your focus on something that's before you, not behind you. Don't even pay attention to where you're at here. It says the light will come. See, if you've been in a dark place here, the universe is sending you someone here that is a kinsman spirit here. This, this is someone here who's not going to judge you. This is someone here who I feel like is sent from the universe. This is a union. This is a partnership. So if you've been struggling doing things on your own here, whether it's in a business or, or uh, let, let's say if you're a single parent here, if you're a single parent here and you feeling like, God dang, you know, I got, I got, I got aspirations in life. There's a lot of things I want to do, but my circumstances seem like I can't do it. But spirit is about to send you some help here. It's about to come to light here. You're not going to stay in the dark for long. Spirit, show me messages for the collective. What does the collective need to know? To a source. See, you coming out of all of this. All of this not seeing, not knowing, in denial, it says unwilling to make a choice in decisive turmoil. This you, overwhelmed, fears of uncertainty, stress. You're coming out of all of this, see? Because you remember, you saw the moon card in the reverse. Fear because of things you don't see, that's all that's going to go because the moon card is in the reverse here. You're coming out of all of this too. It says moving on from past regrets, healing, growth, acceptance forgiveness see you gotta see there it is there it is the world card see that's what it is seems like somebody's ending major cycles here universes it's almost like you're having growing pains that's all you're experiencing you're experiencing growing pains and a lot of times it seems like things have to be shaken up and, and broken down in order for you to start something new here. So see, some things you may have lost along the way during this journey here. But guess what? You got another opportunity. But this time around, I feel like it's going to be better. It says the universe is in your favor. Travel, success, 
completion flight reward. So now is the time that you're going to receive your reward. Now they go to Queen of Wands here. An outgoing and creative person, optimism. See, you're going to go from depressed to outgoing here. See there, Ace of Swords, you're about to have a major breakthrough here. It says new beginnings or mental clarity. See? Mental clarity. See, spirit is about to rejuvenate your thoughts and your mind here. Your mind been playing tricks on you, honey. Your mind has been lying to you. It says focus, vision, good choices, finding truth, success. There go that success again. So you got a lot of beautiful things coming to you. See, some of y'all walking away from things. See? And I feel like this is what it is. You just having to end cycles because spirit is trying to tell you, look, you got something new coming in here. Now, do you want to start the do you want to start over? Do you want to begin a new chapter with this? Spirit said, no, you, you're going to have to do away with this. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself to walk away from things that no longer serve you. Prepare yourself to uh, uh, come out of the darkness. Even if, if the problem has been you, because sometimes we are our problem here. So it's almost like your pizzazz, your spunk, your, your energy is about to be... Um, rejuvenated it's almost like you may have multiple people coming around you uh you may have um i feel like you got a loving relationship coming your way but i also feel like you got someone here too that's going to uh light your light your flame back so to speak if you've been dark and felt un, un uh you know unfulfilled if you felt uh regret uh you've just just felt like your wishes wasn't gone you just felt deep satis dissatisfaction in your life if you felt like you was not inspired, this Queen of Wands finna change all of that. And all I feel like this star and this Nine of Cups, all of this is gonna be in an upright. The ones that need to be. Because it's good to move on from past regrets when it's Five of Cups energy. So you could be a Scorpio Cancer Pisces because I see the Queen of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and the Two of Cups, and the Five of Cups, a lot of water energy. I see the star card. I see Aquarius. I see Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. The two of Swords, Ace of Swords. I see the World card with uh, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. And I see this Queen of Wands with Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries energy here. So let's see. Like I tell you, that this is what it is. So let's see what's gonna happen. Let's see what's gonna come out of here. Let's see, Spirit. Show me the collective, Spirit. Clarify the collective for the collective's highest good, Spirit. Thank you for the collective. Thank you for. Uh, making things better through this journey. So the Nine of Cups in the reverse spirit. Why is the Nine of Cups in the reverse here for the collective? It says deep dissatisfaction in your life, materialism, regret, excess, nightmares, unfulfilled wishes. The hangman, see? Because, because there, there's been a lack of movement here. So something has slowed down in your life, whether it's a relationship and you don't see any movement there. Maybe it's your business, your job, your career. So there's been a lack of growth in certain things here. So it's, it's making you feel unsatisfied. See, maybe it's love with the Queen of Cups. Maybe, but you got the Queen of Cups here anyway. I feel like if there's been a stagnation, it's been a stagnation with, see, look, you got the Queen of Cups and the freaking Star Card Collective. The full card. See, something's about to turn around for you. The Queen of Cups and the Star card. See, I told you it's going to get that Star card back in the upright. I knew it. See, so you've been dissatisfied because there's been a lack of movement in, I feel like, in your love life here since the Queen of Cups came out. But something is healing. You're about to heal through this, though. So really, I feel like this delay was really only serving as your highest good here. Because, you know, people always try to lie and tell you, you know, the best way to get over a relationship is to get under another one. No, sometimes you need to stay to yourself and just heal. And I feel like this is what you're doing. And as a result, you're going to attract the relationship that you desire here. So what was once stuck and stagnant and feeling loomy and gloomy, I feel like the universe is about to shine on you again. So now you have the star card here. So you could be an Aquarius or dealing with an Aquarius here. Clarify the star in the reverse. It says a lack of inspiration and positivity, despair, illness, negativity, hopelessness, and boredom. 
Knight of Cups. Wait, clarify the star in reverse. The Magician. Okay, in the reverse. See, someone, this is why someone lacks, um, uh, lacks inspiration here because they're not manifest. They see somebody feels like just because they're not seeing it, it's not happening. So they think that they're not manifesting here. They think that, that they're not able to do it. So, so th their lack of financing here. And for some of y'all, it's dealing with a job or some money here. It could be your career. It could be that you're trying to manifest something here, but it's like you, you've lost, it's almost like you've lost your flavor here. It's like your negativity and your disappointment has taken over your manifesting here because it seems like you're more fo focused on what you what you've lost and what you don't have as opposed to what you can have here. Okay, clarify this star card in the reverse for the collective to be a Pisces. The Hierophant here. So someone here, I feel like someone is upset because they're not. I feel like it's a relationship, y'all. I feel like where this is concerned here, someone either wants to build, um, since I saw the eight of pentacles, but I see the six of wands in the reverse. I feel like someone wanted a relationship here. It's almost like these relationships are stagnant. Uh, no one is making up their mind. People are not able to manifest. There's too much depression going on. People are just doing what they want to do here. So it's almost like someone is not able to manifest this relationship that they want. So they feel like they're not on their shit. See, Knight of Cups, but they feel like it's not doing no good. This person, somebody's in love. This is somebody's in love here. This is someone here that is in love. I feel like this is love. And it can represent for your business because we know the Knight of Cups um, is in search of their soulmate. They're a hopeless romantic here. They want to ser serenade you here. You know, they, they want to knock you, sweep you off of your feet here. But with the magician and the star card in reverse, someone is very, very insecure. And I feel like it's because they're in a funk. Now, either it's because the relationship ended or it's because, or it's because someone is having to learn. I guess someone needs to heal. Someone needs to heal here. So I guess that is the that is the main message for the collective. When you don't heal, it's going to interfere in what you're really trying to manifest here. And that's for real. Clarify the Queen of Cups for the collective. Why is she here? It says an emotionally supportive figure, emotional strength, intuition, empathy, psychic creativity. Queen of Cups for the collective. Three of wheels, three of pentacles here. So this is collaboration here. This is working on something here, working as a team here. So since this queen of cups is starting to heal now, I feel like, or is about to heal where, where there was once stuck and stagnant in your wishes being fulfilled. You felt like you wasn't able to manifest here. I feel like now you're ready to work together. Now you could also have someone coming into you that wants to do this. Look, they go to high priest and said, that's, that's, Look, this is Pisces and someone who is highly intuitive here. Could be a Pisces here. Clarify the Queen of Cups. Could be this Queen of Cups. She's highly intuitive. It says you she's uh, intuition, empathy, and psychic. And then I seen the um, High Priestess here. Clarify this Three of Cups. Clarify this Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is the sun in the reverse. But see, it don't matter here. It's like if somebody may have been experiencing a cloudy day, uh, in, in, it could be on your job here. But like I said, that sun card, look, that sun card, you can't do wrong with that sun card. If it's in the reverse, it just means that you're experiencing a, a little turbulence, a little storm here, but it's going to shine again. You remember weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. I feel like your joy is about to come in the morning here. See, now they go to Queen of Wands in the reverse. I feel like this is where you were at. You were lacking, you were lacking your, your passion. You were lacking motivation here. But as you can see, she's showing up again in the upright here. Now, this could be another energy. Now, why is this Two of Cups here? It says balance and harmony in a relationship, love, partnership, friendships, peace, and romance. Now, I feel like for some of you guys, you got some kinsman energy coming, like friendships. 
You're going to really have someone here who you can really depend on and you guys can really build a beautiful uh, spiritual bond as friends while others you're about to fall in love or you're about to have some type of romantic relationship here. Clarify this two of cups for the collective here. Two of cups is the five of wands here. See? So if this is someone here who you already know here, I feel like someone is letting their guards down. Someone's about to let their guards down. They don't want to fuss and fight. Someone is letting their guards down here. They don't want to, they don't want to do all of that. Six of cups. <laughs> I saw the six of cups. Clarify the two of cups. No, nobody wants to compete anymore. Someone's letting their guards down here. The world card here. Someone doesn't want it. Someone doesn't want this cycle to be over, but you got it right here in the upright. So maybe this is you. Maybe you were fight. You, you know the saying, if you love something, let it go. If it's yours, if it's meant to be, it'll come back to you. If it doesn't, it never was. It's almost like someone was fighting an ending. You were fighting an ending so hard till you were making your whole life just it was just miserable or just unhappy here. And, and I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not trying to be insulting, but because it just makes sense. Everything that most of these cards is showing up in the reverse, I also see in the upright. So something is turning around. But it's almost like maybe you were in a love relationship with your person and you didn't want to let them go because it was something in you that you needed to heal. It just seems like the collective needs to heal on things so that you won't hold on too hard. You won't be so afraid that you're not going to get what you deserve here. One more card for this two of cups here. I feel like you were fighting this change. The full card. See? But it's coming around anyway. See there? See, it could be an Aries here. See, everything that you were denying here, but I feel like you were you you were trying to uh dodge or you didn't want an ending. I feel like you let your you were willing to let your guards down for this person. Or you needed to let your guards down from this person here, but you really are still holding on to this person here because I feel like you're holding out hope too with the star card that you guys can have a new beginning with this full energy. Now you got the five of cups in the reverse here. Moving on from past regrets, healing, growth, acceptance, forgiveness here. Five of cups in the reverse, ace of swords here. See, they're going to ace of swords again. You can find out some type of truth and clarity. This ace of swords says... It said, look, it says, moving on from regrets. And look, there go your eight of cups. You're moving on from it. The ace of swords, it says, new beginnings or mental clarity, focus, vision, good choices, finding true success. See, I feel like you're finding out something. You, your healing is bringing in something here. Ooh, and I see the emperor in the upright. You could be an Aries here. Maybe you're finding out something about a child's parent. Maybe it's your divine masculine, divine feminine here. Maybe you're trying to take control over your life and stand in your power and your authority and take control back over your life so that you can be happy. Clarify this five of cups in the reverse. Five of wheels. Five of pentacles. See, somebody coming out of this. See, you got the five of cups in the reverse, the ace of swords in the upright, and the five of wheels in the reverse. See, somebody's coming out of that. If somebody felt like, if someone felt inadequate, because I feel like if someone here was deep dis dissatisfied in their life, they had a lot of regret, a lot of unfulfilled wishes, a lack of inspiration, despair, illness, negativity, hopelessness, boredom, then I feel like they're coming out of this if this is you collective, then look, you're about to come out of this. You're coming out of it. You're finally going to come out of this depressive, this, this very dark energy here. Give me another card for this five of cups in reverse. You're coming out of this. Ten of wands. See? Ten of wands because it was a bird and it was just too much. You was walking around here feeling like the weight of the world was on your shoulders. But... 
you get a chance to release all of these burdens with that Ace of Swords here. So why is this Two of Swords here in the reverse for the collective? Unwilling to make a choice. And I feel like this was either you or your person un unwilling to give up something. Because I feel like someone didn't want something to be over. So someone was unwilling to make a choice here. Turn more over because you are afraid. Here, clarify this Two of Swords in reverse. Two of Swords, Wheel of Fortune here. See? But see, something is changing, though. Something has changed here because it wasn't the right time then. Something wasn't the right time then. But this is also destiny. This is faith. This is divine timing. Somebody didn't make up their mind or someone... Couldn't make up, couldn't make a choice because it wasn't the time. I feel like could be you, could be someone else. See, Ace of Pentacles, but there it is again, though Ace of Wheels. So I feel like this is in the past here. Someone couldn't make up their mind here, but the Wheel of Fortune is in the upright. But like I said, see, the Wheel of Fortune represents that whoever was stuck. In turmoil because of fear and stress that is changing once again with the will of fortune in the ace of pentacles. So see, somebody's look, your, your sad days are about to come to an end here. Because it just seems like when one thing go wrong in your life, it's like a domino effect here. And I feel like everything was being tested and tried in your life. But like I said, I feel like something is changing here. Your luck is changing. That's what's happening. Once again, your luck is changing because that wheel is in the upright. Give me one more card for this two of swords in the reverse. Nine of wands here. I feel like you're, you're wounded, you were guarded here, but I feel like you got just, just a little bit fight in you left. And, and what is going to give you the strength to persevere is this change and this new abundant new beginning with this Ace of Wheels. So now you have the Queen of Wands. Spirit, who is this Queen of Wands for the collective? Queen of Wands is the Ten of Cups in the reverse. So this could have been someone here who was in an unhappy relationship here. The five of cups. They go that five of cups in the reverse again. So I feel like someone is coming out of regret. See, that's what it is. So you coming out of this with this Queen of Wands energy. You get to the point now where you don't care. Like I said, if, if you was if you was feeling, you know how it is when you're going through some shit. I'm telling you, when you're going through some shit, you don't want to be bothered. You may not comb your hair right. You may keep your gown on. I'm just, look, I'm just telling you. And you dang sure don't want nobody to pop up at your house. You, you probably ain't washed a few dishes in the sink type of stuff. Look, look, don't, don't look. If I was a fly on the wall, I'm just saying, now y'all know how it is. You sitting in the house all day, you ain't going, or you probably ain't washed your face, probably ain't brushed your teeth good. Because <laughs> you're going through some shit. You feel me? You're going through some things, and you, you're you denying yourself because of what you're going through. So with this Queen of Wands, she is back to herself again. She's accepting some things. She's accepting that something was not for her obviously, and that she can get something better. Because once again, that five of cups is in the reverse. You got the five of cups in the reverse again. It says moving on from past regrets. See, you used to regret this. Now, whether this was a uh, your happily ever after, maybe you was in a relationship, but obviously it wasn't good. It's in the reverse. It says moving on from past regrets, healing, growth, acceptance, forgiveness. You done forgave them and you done moved on. And now... You strutting your god dang me stuff with this Queen of Wands energy. That's what it is. So now you have the world card. Spirit, clarify the world for the collective. Why is the world here? The world is, ha, snap, the lover's card here in the reverse here. Now, this is someone here who, now see, you're choosing to end that cycle and create you a new one because you're not going to take relationship problems into your new opportunity. You're like, uh-uh, could be a Gemini, could be dealing with a Gemini, could be dealing with someone who couldn't make up their mind so they had you stuck, or maybe you couldn't make up your mind so you had someone stuck. But with this lovers in the reverse, which is a very strong connection, which is why you both probably were stuck. 
Somebody is choosing to close that chapter out because they refuse to start over with the same toxic ass relationship problems here. Clarify the world for the collective. Huh? Seven of wands here. I feel like someone here letting their guards down here. Someone's letting their guards down. Now, somebody doesn't want to fight anymore. Someone does not want to stand up for this relationship. They don't want to fight for this relationship no more. They letting it go. Somebody is letting this relationship go because they realized that it wasn't for them anyway. It was just, it was just, it was just, they were dissatisfied with it. They was tired of the problem with this relationship. And I feel like whoever this person was, they used to fight for because they didn't want the cycle to be over. But now... They're choosing to walk away and love their self and get their happy back. Somebody's finna, some, see, page of cups here. I feel like you're going to have a lot of uh, other opportunities here. Now, you could have a toxic karmic person trying to come in here and tell you they sorry. This queen of swords in the reverse because their conscience is whooping on their ass with this judgment card here. See, because I feel like your karma with this will of fortune, you're about to be okay. See, if you was if you would stay bad and, and stay and stay stuck in an unhappy cycle, then I guarantee you ain't nobody trying to come back to you and say nothing. They sure ain't trying to apologize to you. But please believe they are in the reverse. So they're very, very distant and detached. They're cold and manipulating. But they could be receiving karma too with this judgment card. But like I say, whatever had you stuck and in a dark place, you're about to experience the sun shining on you again. You're about to experience a beautiful opportunity and happiness in your life. And this is what I have for you, collectors. So if this video resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit your notification bell, leave me a comment, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye, collective.